guys and thank you for coming to my channel my name is Adonis and welcome so good to be back in front of you guys how are you guys doing today doing pretty good I'm doing great it's a beautiful day outside it's like 50 something degrees um, and it's so beautiful outside and I decided to um, do an updated skincare routine video as you can see um, down in the title below also what's tagged onto this is a mini Walgreens haul um, I did go to Walgreens because I was needing a few things to finish up my daily updated skincare routine video just so I can get that up for you guys and then while I was in there I found some good things another tag onto this video is giving you cheap alternatives to um, skincare so you're not paying you know too much for it but you're still getting um, close to the same quality of products um, and so yeah I think that's all of the intro that you need um, there will be a small demo attached to this video just for fun effects so I hope you guys enjoy that if you love videos like this give it a thumbs up make sure you're commenting sharing and ultimately subscribing but I think that's all we'll just get directly into the video so as I mentioned I did go to Walgreens today as you can see um, and I purchased a few items I was mainly going to Walgreens to get a moisturizer, a moisturizer, a facial scrub, and those are really the only two things that I've got that I went. I did get those things plus a few additional. So for moisturizers, a lot of the moisturizers um, that you'll get in the store um, will be like the daily skin treatment moisturizers, and so they're like eight or nine dollars. What I do, what's a tip or trick that you can do, is find a good sensitive skin. Um, lotion Aveeno has some great ones as well as Bluberderm um, and so find some good sensitive skincare lotions buy a bottle of that it'll run you like two or three dollars and use that as your daily moisturizer and that's what I did I got the Aveeno active naturals daily moisturizing lotion clinically proven dermatologist recommended if you're familiar with the Aveeno brand they are amazing with skincare and as far as like skin quality and natural ingredients Avino is one of the best ones. So I did end up picking this up. This was $3.99. So for a bottle like this, it's $3.99. And then for a, a compared to a small bottle of moisturizer that you can get, which is like $8. Um, and so I got a sensitive skin daily moisturizing lotion to use as my moisturizer in the morning, just so I'm not shelling out $10 for a small bottle of moisturizer. The next thing um, that I went for, I already have a mask in my um, daily routine, but I wanted to get another one just because I'm obsessed with the mint scent. Um, and so I wound up getting the mint facial mask right here. It's from Studio 35 Beauty. I believe that is a Walgreens and CVS brand. Um, but it's Studio, Studio 35 Beauty, um, the mint facial mask. It clears uh, blackheads and minimizes pores. This was an eight fluid ounce bottle. I got this for $3.99 as well. Um, and it's a lot bigger than most. It just has that mint smell to it and it's a thick mask unlike any other ones that you'll get that are kind of water and runny this one is very thick and I can tell all of the ingredients that are in it I can read the ingredients um, it's not anything that's harmful to your skin it's not anything that's not a hundred percent guaranteed and it's backed by the Walgreens brand um, and so I did end up getting this facial mask and this was again $3.99 I was looking for a scrub because I can have tough skin some days and so regular face wash won't be enough to kind of deep cleanse my skin so every couple of days I'll do um, my regular daily morning routine um, or daily routine as well as a scrub and a mask um, just because I want to get deep into my pores so I did end up picking up the well at Walgreens um, apricot scrub mask ble blemish and blackhead control whatever um, the one thing I love about these is because I have used this in the past it does not leave a residue on your skin when it gets done I know sometimes after you get done with the mask it'll leave like a white film on your skin even after you've washed and rinsed it off um, this does not leave that it cleans off clear um, just like the clean and clear one it compares up to it I'm not sure why the price is different but it does have a special acne medication in it so I did pick this up again they have it in multiple different um, scents and I said flavors earlier scents and so you can definitely pick that up I've been using the tea tree water toner from from lush but I'm almost out of that so I needed to get a, a different toner and I ran into this the last bit and I did some research on this product so this is the studio 35 beauty again the same as the mask um, and this is the oil-free witch hazel um, toner and cleanser I googled witch hazel because I didn't know what it was but it turns out it's in all of our facial products um, and it's just a natural cleanser and a natural uh, toner so I picked up this huge bottle of witch hazel. What you'll do is you'll just take some and dab it onto a cotton swab and rub it over your skin after you've washed it um, to kind of tone it and um, open up your pores and get ready for the moisturizer. It was $5.49. So not a bad 
amounts for four amazing products that'll last you a long time. One thing that I love doing is buying products that, that are going to last me a long time. So I don't want to get a small thing of moisturizer that's only going to last me, you know, a few months when I can get a whole thing of sensitive skincare lotion that'll last me six months or get a whole bottle of witch hazel um, besides getting a small bottle or a ton of that'll only last me a few weeks or a couple of months. Get a whole bottle of this um, that'll last you six months. And so I'm very big into saving money in the long run. And so that's why I wanted to show you guys some of these products that are not specifically brand name products, but they work just the same and they stand side to side with them, but at a lower cost. So throughout the year, my daily skincare routine will change depending on the season, depending on the weather, depending on all of those different factors. It's winter time right now, so I did a um, daily skincare routine about five months ago, um, but again, that was in the summer, it was warmer, um, my skin was more moisturized, now it's in the winter, the air is more drier, um, and so I definitely wanted to do an updated one. There's not a lot of contents to it, not a bunch of stuff going on, uh, but I just wanted to give you an updated skincare routine. Here. So as my morning cleanser, um, I use something similar to the Morning Burst from Clean and Clear. It is the Equa AM Refreshing Facial Cleanser, um, and it's oil-free. All of my products are oil-free. I opt to go oil-free because my skin is very oily, um, and the less oil I can add to that, the better. So I do use the Equate uh, Beauty Brand. Again, if you watch my previous skincare video, you can see that I use the Equate um, toner. And to me, this works better than the Clean and Clear just because this doesn't leave your skin dry afterwards. I don't know what they infuse into this or what they put into it, but it does not leave your skin dry or leave your skin with a film. It leaves your skin perfectly moisturized. And so this um, compares perfectly to the Clean and Clear version, and this is $2 cheaper than that. So the Clean and Clear version, I think, is $5.49, and this is two, three, some, same size bottle, same flavor, same scent, same exfoliant, same everything just the Equate brand. And so um, I've opted to do that and this is what I start my morning off with. After I clean my face off, I usually follow with, depending on what day it is, I usually follow with a scrub. And the scrub that I've been using, you guys have seen it in my favorites video for months, it's the Mentha Body Soothing Scrub from Bath & Body Works. I've been using this for months, literally almost a year. Um, and so it's again, it has a great, great, great peppermint mint smell to it, which is why I want to eat it. Um, but what I'll do is after I wash my face, I'll go in with the scrub to make sure that everything is gone and then I'll rinse it again as you can see in the video that I'm showing. Um, and it's just a body buffer, a skin buffer to get all those impurities off, especially if you have a lot of dead skin or dark marks. This is great for exfoliating and getting all of that off. By the way, this Mentha uh, Body Scrub is $15 from Bath & Body Works. You get a huge 8 ounce bottle. You only need a little bit. I've been using, using this for almost a year um, and it's just now uh, running out. But yeah, that's what you use. This is $15 from Bath & Body Works. You can use any facial scrub that you want. You can even go through and use the apricot scrub that I got from Walgreens. Um, whatever you have on hand, this is just an extra added kind of security blanket to make sure that your skin is completely clear. So that's why I use that. After that, I will rinse that off and I will follow with a, um, a mask. Now, you can either use um, the mask that I just mentioned, with the, which is the Studio 35 Beauty Mint Facial Mask. Whatever mask that you have, the mask that I have on hand is the Clear Pore Cleanser. This is by Neutrogena, and the reason why I got this is because out of all of them, all had the same ingredients, all had the same scent, $2 cheaper than um, other brand names. So Neutrogena Face Mask, this was like three bucks. Um, and the other ones were running six or seven. So, um, and this is an intensive mask. You can use this as a daily cleanser as well. Um, just don't let it sit on, but it's a daily cleanser slash a mask. I use it as a mask and I let it sit on, you know, cook and do all that stuff on my face. Then I rinse. After I um, rinse this off, it, I let it sit for about five, 10 minutes. I'll dry my face, pat drying, not rubbing. You definitely wanna pat dry your skin just to make sure you're not clogging any pores or messing up anything, so you always pat dry. I'll follow by a toner, um, depending on what I have on hand. Now I have the Witch Hazel, but I've been using the Tea Tree Water from Lush. This is $9.95 on the Lush's website. Comes in two sizes, 3.3 fluid ounce bottle, and I've been using this since um, Black Friday. I got this on Black Friday, so I've been using it since Black Friday, and it's there's still like half a bottle left. Um, so I'll continue to use this. I just wanted to try something new with the Witch Hazel, um, and I saw it in there, and I didn't want to pass it up because I don't know when I'll be back at Walgreens on that side of town. Simply just spritz it on like so, and I'll show you guys in the video how that works. And then you let that dry. What that does is it opens up your pores to get your skin ready for your moisturizer. So you always want to follow directly after that, after it dries with the moisturizer. 
what I've been using is I already have a bottle of this, um, but I've been using the Abina the Aveeno uh, Daily Moisturizing Lotion, a small amount, just because it works with sensitive skin and it doesn't irritate your skin. It's not oily, it's oil-free lotion. And so that definitely is a lot cheaper than getting a small bottle of um, skin-specified moisturizer when you can use a bottle of your favorite lotion. And it doesn't have to be Aveeno. It can literally be whatever lotion you want, but you want to make sure you get a lotion that's good with sensitive skin, that's not oily because you don't want to add any more oil to your skin, and that really goes on light and airy. And the Aveeno one is the only one that I know that does that. Um, there's some cocoa butters out there, but for my skin, I love the Aveeno. I've used it since I was a kid. After all that said and done, I will follow with an EOS egg and just do my lips, um, just to make sure that they're nice and moisturized and full, and then I'll probably go to sleep or do something like that, I don't know. It just kind of depends. So guys, that is kind of my Walgreens haul, cheap alternatives, daily skincare routine updated video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I love doing these types of videos, but if you did enjoy this video, definitely give it a thumbs up. Um, make sure you're subscribing and liking my videos. Leave me some comments below letting me know what's in your daily skincare routine. Or if you did a daily skincare routine video, definitely put that link down there. I'd love to check that out. What are your favorite um, off-brand products or your favorite products without that you enjoy without having to break your bank. Let me know. I'm always trying to find some alternatives and I'm definitely getting back into skincare treatments. But yeah, I think that's it. I don't think there's any other updates. Just make sure you're checking out all my previous content um, and letting me know your suggestions. I love constructive criticism, constructive. Um, and yeah, I think that's all. So I will see you guys in my next video whenever that goes up. And I hope you guys enjoyed this. See you later. Bye. Hey guys, as you can see, I'm just here about to start my daily skincare routine. Uh, you see I have the Equate AM Fresh face cleanser that I will start um, to clean my face with as I mentioned previously in the video. Definitely just apply this like any other facial scrub that you've had in the past. Just make sure you cover the whole basis of your skin that you're wanting to kind of touch and clean. Um, I focus on my cheeks, my chin, and pretty much everywhere on my face as you would any regular morning cleanser to get every every inch of that face and as you can see I have all my areas <laughs> yeah I don't know what's going on after you've done that you just simply rinse make sure you do a thorough rinse you don't want to leave any residue behind your skin that could potentially dry your skin out or leave any type of residue and that's completed definitely um, you're wanting to dry your skin definitely pat dry as you can see as I'm doing there you do not want to rub in definitely just pat dry your skin you don't want to cause any irritation next we'll use the mentha body scrub this is just going to get any other impurities that was missed by the daily facial cleanser um, and we'll just rub that all over our face to get any impurities that were left over this also leaves your skin very smooth and it helps with dark spots and any other impurities that were left over you know or that they're trying to um, exfoliate more i just do my whole skin so yeah so I'm freshly rinsed, and again, we are going to dab dry, not wipe. Um, and so you just pat dry your dab, you just pat dry your face. As you can see, it's looking better already. Next, we are going to do a mask. Now I only do a mask maybe every couple of days, just because this is more of my heavy face wash day, I guess. So you just need a little, um, kind of like a nickel amount. You're going to cover all of your problem areas. A lot of people just put it on their cheeks, um, but I um, will put it over the entire portion of my face. That means my cheeks, my nose, underneath my mouth, my forehead, all that stuff. I want to make sure every area is covered. You don't want to leave anyone out. And as you can see, I have full coverage, everything. And now you just wait and wait and wait. So finally, we are ready to wash this gunk off of our face. We want to make sure to scrub it off. We've been sitting for about 5-10 minutes. And this is the finished result. As you can tell, my skin looks brighter, cleaner, radiant, all of that stuff. So next, we are going to use the Tea Tree Toner. You can use any toner of choice. This is how you apply it. You definitely let it dry like I was saying before you want to let it dry before you apply your moisturizer and the moisturizer that I will be using is the Aveeno moisturizer mentioned in the video 
And side note, the bumps in my cheeks are not acne. They're due to their hair bumps. I recently got a haircut and I grow hair on my face. But yeah, you only need like a dime size amount of, not even a dime size, but a small size amount of moisturizer to go over your skin just to cover any problem areas. You don't want to leave your skin dry, especially in the winter time. You want to make sure that it's nice and moisturized. And then you'll try that by using your EOS egg to go ahead and moisten up those lips. But yes, this is the final look. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Um, if you did, definitely give it a thumbs up and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye. <laughs> Bye guys. Bye.